Welcome everyone. We are here today to explore a fascinating topic in English grammar, the simple present tense passive voice. This is an essential tool for both speaking and writing English effectively. Let's dive in. The passive voice refers to a sentence structure where the object of an action becomes the subject of the sentence. The active counterpart of I write the letter would be The letter is written by me. Notice how the focus shifts from the doer to the object. Let's break it down further. In the passive voice, the subject receives the action. The verb to be is used in the appropriate tense followed by the past participle of the main verb. In our example, is was the auxiliary verb and written was the past participle. Now let's talk about when to use this. The passive voice is commonly used when the focus is on the action, not who or what is performing the action. It's also used when the performer is unknown or irrelevant, or when we want to be vague or impersonal. Let's look at some examples. The cake is eaten or the report is prepared. In both these sentences, the focus is on the cake and the report, not who ate or prepared them. The subject of the sentence is the receiver of the action. Now how do we form it? It's simple. We take the object of the active sentence, make it the subject of our passive sentence, follow it with the verb to be in the correct form, and then add the past participle of the main verb. Let's watch this in action. John repairs the car. Becomes the car is repaired by John. Repairs is the main verb car is the object and John is the subject. In the passive voice we switch their places and adjust the verb accordingly. Notice the preposition by in by John. This is how we express the agent or the person who performed the action in passive sentences. However, remember that the agent isn't always necessary or known. For example, the windows are cleaned every week. Here it's not important who cleans the windows. The focus is on the fact that the windows are clean every week. This is the beauty of the passive voice. Remember, the passive voice isn't about evading responsibility or being vague. It's a powerful tool for directing the listener's or reader's attention where you want it to be. It allows you to highlight the most important information. Lastly, it's crucial to know that not all sentences can be made passive. Only sentences where the verb has an object can be converted to the passive voice. For example, I sleep can't be made passive because there's no object. So that's it for the simple present tense passive voice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try converting active sentences to passive and vice versa. Start noticing the use of passive voice in your daily reading or listening. Thank you for tuning in today. And remember, grammar isn't a set of rules. It's a tool for effective communication. Happy learning!